I'm at World Water Park in West Edmonton Mall. This is Sub 150, the show that teaches you stuff in 150 seconds or less. Today we're going to talk about the new Lightroom mobile camera. There are a few things you'll need for this tutorial. First, a Creative Cloud membership from Adobe. Second, an Android or iOS smartphone. To keep things under 150 seconds, this tutorial hums along at a pretty good clip. You might have to make use of that pause button to digest some of this information. Let's start the clock. You'll first need to download the Adobe Lightroom mobile app from the Play Store if you're on Android, or the App Store if you're using an iOS device. You will be able to use this app on most modern Android or iOS devices, but you'll really unleash its power if you have a phone capable of capturing images in the raw DNG format. This non-destructive editing format puts the power of image optimization into your hands instead of letting the phone do it, allowing you to unleash your full creative potential. Next, you'll have to sign in with your Creative Cloud membership account. This sign-in allows you to sync your files across all of your mobile devices and your desktop computers. In this menu, you will choose your Wi-Fi sync options, and if you're on an Android device, you'll have the option of storing your files on your SD card. If you choose to change your storage location, the app will need to be restarted. Let's press the camera button, and we'll switch from automatic to professional to take full advantage of our manual camera controls. Now we'll press the shutter speed button in the bottom right corner. Keep in mind slower shutter speeds mean higher exposure, but we'll also begin to blur motion at slower speeds. Since we have people moving in our image, I'll select a faster shutter speed. Next we'll adjust our ISO, which influences the brightness of the pixels in the image, but may introduce grain or digital noise into the shot at higher values. We can also adjust the white balance. Nine times out of ten, the camera will get it right when set to automatic white balance, but if something seems off with the color, this is where we change it. A few other important features. Press the ellipsis menu on your screen to access a timer. You also have access to a set of guides including the rule of thirds, golden rule, and halves. These displays are useful when composing your images. And to top it all off, the level is a handy little tool that I'm sure you'll make great use of. Well, that was the Lightroom mobile camera. Hope you enjoyed the show this week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.